me. It kind of paints it for you, you know. Some names up here. They're not gonna. They're not really gonna show much when I get through because I'm. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Here. See, it covers up pretty good. down, sometimes it surprises you. It didn't look too bad. Okay, now, um, my focal point is going to be right in there. Shadow violet. And I put a little bit of that on there. It doesn't have a violet, really. It's more of a gray, but it's, um, it's kind of nice for, for what I want it to do. Some shadows on the book. Now I have um, the next step I'm going to do Sag Harbor Gray. I'm going to try this. I can be sure. This is dry. It's not quite dry yet, but I'm going to try a little bit of it, see what it does. This is a process that is kind of, it's different. You put it on real thin. Turn it upside down so I can do this side. And here I go. This is um, some of that gray um, and also white mixed in. Um, and you're just what you do is you just uh, fog it out. So that so it's, it's still there, but it, it's, uh, it's not bright. violet down in here to make it darker because um, I want to bring out the chickens and I'm going to have white chickens kind of wander over it just a little bit like this give it a little dimension you see I'm shading everything but right in through here um, I might even shade a little bit of the of this. That's a little bit too much water. 
The main thing I gotta play up now is I gotta put more detail in the front here. And um a little bit of blue charcoal. I know there's no blue in here, but um, for his pants or overalls. Um, it's, it's kind of bright. I want it to kind of bright. The hat. And then you can take a, a small brush and um, even with charcoal, you know, you can wet charcoal and it makes it makes it nice. What's that blue somewhere else? Maybe right there? Maybe over here. this real tight, small brush and um, kind of try to make this figure. I don't want it to be too distinct but just kind of. And here's my chickens. They're not going to really, I'm just going to use this kind of a details, you know, maybe a dark color right there. There might be some darker chickens in there. It's kind of, um, it's not a real Thicker. Use some of this thicker paint. That's about right there. So the shapes are sort of like chickens, but you know, when they're flocked together, sometimes you can't tell one from the other. This one I want to stand out a little bit more. This is an oil pastel and I'm going to put a little bit of, of this on here because I just want to get some texture. Fine art and um, 